That ad coming from Mark Ronchetti's campaign now facing criticism from both Democrats and Republicans. Target 7's John Cardinale spoke with Ronchetti today about the ad that centers around a home invasion at the Ronchetti's home 10 years ago. The girls and I were home alone and I saw the front door starting to shake. This campaign ad released this week by Republican gubernatorial candidate Mark Ronchetti features his wife Christy and highlights a possible home invasion she experienced in 2012. She said, I have 911 on the line. The girls and I are in the closet. I've got the gun. It's aimed at the door. Please come home. The ad goes on to criticize how Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has handled crime in New Mexico. Governor Lujan Grisham has made it easier to be a criminal than a cop. She's released criminals from prison early and appointed soft on crime judges. Target 7 dug into the reports. We pulled up this police dispatch log of when Christie called 911 back in 2012. According to the law, a police report was never taken when officers arrived. Police arrived at the Ronchetti's home in 11 minutes. He says if it happened today, it may have ended differently. I'm not sure what kind of response we would have gotten, and not because the officers wouldn't want to respond, but because we have put them in a situation now where it's easier to be a criminal than to be a cop. Ronchetti's ad, however, has faced some backlash. Jay Block, who ran against Ronchetti in the Republican primary, said in a statement, whoever put this home invasion ad out should have done just a little bit of homework. Mistakes like this make it easy for MLG to make our side look like idiots. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's campaign also also calling the ad out, stating, Mark Ronchetti's latest ad completely distorts the truth in order to cover up his total lack of experience. The truth is that the incident in the ad occurred under Ronchetti's mentor, Susana Martinez. How is this story relevant to the governor's race, um, considering Michelle Lujan Grisham was not in office at the time? What is your response to that? My response is simple. The issues that we had when we had this issue are far worse now. And we have fewer police officers, higher violent crime, and record murder. And we are not seeing anything being done about it. The ad goes on to claim that if elected, Ronchetti will end catch and release. How specifically do you plan on ending catch and release? What does that specific plan look like? Some say, yeah, we can do it through the legislative process. Some say we may have to go through a ballot initiative process, whatever that looks like. And we have to have a presumption of detention in the state of New Mexico, because if there is a fear that someone's going to be violent, they should not be inflicted back on the people of this state. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. That ad was also criticized by Libertarian candidate for Governor Karen Bedoni in a statement. She said the fact that it happened in 2012 and he never mentioned it or brought it up in his 2020 Senate race shows that he's really reaching. If he understood the Second Amendment, his family shouldn't have been so afraid. They should have been prepared, trained and able to handle themselves.